So I briefly touched base on this in the previous video when we created the new product and membership level, but I want to do a quick recap here. If you go under product access and you select the product, in this case, the list building blueprint video course, you have the ability to set which posts, which pages, which categories, which files, and which Amazon S3 files you give access and permissions to this particular level. Now, to do that, all you have to do is simply check it and you're good to go. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is drip feeding. Drip feeding is great when you only want to allow specific content to appear after a specific amount of days, weeks, months, years, or a specific exact date. So what this means, if I say, for example, I check this post here and I leave it zero and I leave this unchecked, what this means is that the moment that somebody signs up for this particular product, when I put zero, zero means that they are instantly going to get access to this particular post. Now, if I put a number one, that means that one day after the day that they sign up, they will get access to this particular post. Or if we do one week, what this means is one week after they sign up for this particular product, this particular post will appear. Now, this is what drip in means. Drip in is just ending the drip or ending the ability to access this particular content. If you say, for example, zero days, somebody joins, they're able to see this particular post immediately, but you only want this post to be available for, let's say, for example, three weeks. And then after three weeks, you want this content to disappear. So you need to make sure that you check this particular box here. If you don't want it to end and you want it to be available for the lifetime of the person's account, you can uncheck that. So this is just a feature and an option there available for you. The same goes with pages, categories, files, and Amazon S3 files. So for example, I could have the sample page come out instantly. Then I could have this content piece come out let's say one week later, and I don't have to have it expire, and maybe I have a special piece of content that comes three weeks later, but there's a time limit, and people only have access to it for one month. After that one month, that content disappears. So that's what this means. It allows you to sequence a bunch of content that'll come out on a specific time period. So it's the same goes with categories for files and for Amazon S3 files. Now, the third thing I wanna cover in this particular video are files. A question that you might have is, how do I get files into this area here? Well, the way you do that is by uploading files by file transfer protocol or FTP you can use cPanel, that's fine too. Basically what you need to do is you need to locate your WordPress directory. So let me show you how to do this. So in this example, this is my file transfer protocol software program or FTP as short. And what you need to do is you need to go under WP-Content. Next, you need to go under Uploads. And under the uploads folder, you're gonna notice a zm-protect. So basically any files that you upload into this particular folder will appear in this section here. So let me show you this as an example. Let me go ahead and upload a file here. So I'm gonna have a demo.pdf file and I'm going to upload that here. So as you can see, demo.pdf, what I need to do now is go back to this page and refresh the page. So now if you go under files and you refresh the page, you'll notice that there is a demo.pdf file. And if I click this here, 
I can give access to those who have access to this level. I can drip feed it and I can end drip feed it. And I can also get the download URL. And the beauty of the system is it gives you a cloaked version of the URL. So it actually protects the file. So nobody can actually see the demo.pdf URL. And to test it out, when I go to this URL, I'm able to download the demo.pdf file. So I can easily just insert this into my post, my page, and so forth. So that's how easy it is to upload files and protect them using Zaxa Member, as well as protecting your content. 